Hello there, mini totems. It's Papa Flesh here. Now, I know you always see me in the videos. I'm pretty sure this is what every video has looked like for the past like six months that I randomly upload. Um, but this is going to be uh, discussing in a little mini guide about the new kind of combo that's been popping up on Warcraft logs, which is the Boots and Shoulders Gambling Build. Now, before I get into that, I'm just going to do a 30 second thing. Um, I want to talk about. Uh, the channel, my new computer, I have all the parts, I have made some things that weren't working, stuff still having issues, I'm going to bring it into the shop in the next couple days, and uh, get that, like, hopefully fixed and everything, because it's been, I've had the parts for almost a month and a half now, uh, and it's just been super annoying, it's very difficult with my work schedule, but anyways, that should be coming up soon, I'll be streaming all that stuff, but let's get to the actual content of the video, video here. So there's a new build that's been popping up, um, and you might see it on some top mythic parses and Warcraft logs. Now, most of them are the normal uh, gloves and boots gambling build. The gloves are very strong, obviously. However, there's been like a little... There's been, on some bosses specifically, this combo, the shoulder and boots, is very strong. And it can even be almost identical or a little more consistent DPS single target as well compared to the glove build. Now with the glove gambling build, I submit 2.15 million on one target, and swapping over to the shoulders and using the uh, tier gloves to keep my four piece, that puts me at uh, one or sorry 2.12 million. So it's only 30k less DPS for me. For some of you guys, maybe you don't have the gloves or whatever, then if you do have the shoulders, that this will be a potentially higher build than whatever else you're running. Just cement, check it out. Um, now the main the main thing here is obviously the combination of the boots having a 20% chance of refund Maelstrom spent, and Earthshock has up to a 50% chance based on Maelstrom spent to cause your next Earthquake to be free and deal increased damage. Now this on single target, like I said, the Sims can be very close. For some people, this even pulls ahead over the gloves. And the talent build pretty much looks the same. You want to go toe to mastery and you need aftershock because you're doing a gambling build. And then generally your elemental blast, equity elements, and ascendance for the most part. I mean, I'm sure you could... I've seen people use like Ice Fury. Like I think Naesum was even using shoulders uh, boots combo with Ice Fury on a boss. I don't remember which one. But it can be very effective. Now, a couple of the main bosses that this will be very strong on. Number one, Mythic Coven of Shavara. Because the bosses in addition to being in chain lightning range, usually if tanked properly, which they should be, because many classes like frost mages and I think fire mages and a bunch of other classes can do cleave DPS as long as they're close, but not too close to where they're immune. Now, this also works for earthquake. So you can earthquake in the middle of the two adds and or the two bosses and it'll hit both. And that's it's a pretty major DPS gain. I go up about 400k sim DPS if I can use this build and Earthquake hits two targets reliably. So it, it's a very big increase and something you should be looking out for. Now I'm going to be doing a dummy test in this video as well, but one thing I do want to note is that there are a couple important little uh, min-max things that you can do with the, uh, with the gambling for this. Now this is a much more consistent build because it has a higher chance, 50% uh, compared to the gloves, which are whatever, it's much lower. It's like 10% per maelstrom spend, or 12.5 with a high amount. So it's a much lower chance to proc gloves. So again, I'm, one of the things you want to look out for is you want to try to use your earthquakes with your elemental focus buff, which would be your crit thing. And a good way to make that happen is to use it after a lava burst lands on the target. And another thing you want to use it with that's uh, also quite important is the four piece. So earth, sh or I'm sorry, the two piece. Uh, lava burst increases the damage of your next earth shock or earthquake by 20%. Now this buff applies when the lava burst hits the target, not when the cast is completed. So there's a couple different things that you can do with that. Like one, if you're casting lava, well, let me get a flame shock up. If you cast lava burst normally, and then use your earth shock right after, it was not buffed because the earth shock has yet to, or the lava burst has yet to hit the target. You can see I have the Earthen Strength buff. Damage of next Earthquake or Earth, <laughs> Earth Shock or Earthquake increased. Now, however, if you have a Lava Surge proc, by the time you cast it, the Lava Burst will have already hit the target unless you're really far away on like a big boss like Krosis or something like that from uh, some of those bosses like Fallen Avatar. 
So one of the main things you really want to look out for is try to, if possible, get your earthquake buffed by both your elemental focus and your like earthen rage or whatever it was called from the two piece from your tier set. Um, a couple of reasons, a couple of things you would not want to do. Uh, sometimes you can't, you can't get that going. Like y sometimes you're gonna either waste maelstrom or do whatever because you want to be using your earth shock at about 80 to 85 maelstrom for this build, as compared to like the 70 to 75 ish for the gloves. So 80 to 85 ish for this build. That's like the best way to do it. However, in the Sims, I'm not smart enough to know all that stuff, but that's what I was reading and testing and different things like that. I found this build to be quite consistent and I'm going to go ahead and do a little five minute test here and see how it goes. Hopefully I can pump out some good numbers for you guys. But again, the important thing to note, oh, also sometimes you'll get the, uh, you'll proc an earthquake and your boots will also proc on the earth shock that proc the earthquake. So then you like, you earth shock, you dump your earthquake, then you have that earthquake or you have the earth shock again. Then you can earthquake again. Then you can earth shock again. It's pretty crazy when you get in some of those combos. But let's uh, let's go ahead and get a test going. I have the shoulders and boots on. The boots are required for this because it is a it is a gambling thing. So that is the main one. And then you can either choose the shoulders or gloves for your gambling build. But let's go ahead and get it started here. Yes, I click bloodlust. Get over it. So we're getting our opener going. Popping ascendants. So I got an Earthquake, but I'm not going to use it yet, because I wanted to make sure I had the Earthen Rage buff. As you can see there, you can get a, you can get a nice little chain going. It's quite nice when that happens. Got a nice Acrid, got a, got a four-piece proc from the tier. Generally, the main time you're going to be using the, you're going to get the combo like Earth Shock, Earth sh Earthquake, Earth Shock, Earthquake is going to be like during your Ascendance time. All right, so I got an Earthquake, and I wanted to make sure that I had the next Lava Burst cast go off to get the buff. You want to do that as much as you can. I got another proc, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I let it hit the target, and I have a cast in between. Well, that was a, it's a nice little proc there, but not the earthquake that I wanted. Proc for the video, please! I want to do good DPS. I got a proc, and I'm gonna go, gonna go ahead and get my earthen rage buff. Any crits here? Any crits here? Yeah. So I dropped the Earth Shock, or I dropped the uh, Earthquake right away because I had an Earth Shock proc in the boots. Let's go ahead and get our totems back up. Now you see I have the proc down here, but I want to wait if I can. See this time, unfortunately, I went over the Maelstrom that I'm supposed to cast it at. Always want to cast this on cooldown. I'm screwing up the rotation right now, don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me, guys. I'm a washed up player. So what you'll notice is you will be getting those consistent procs, and you can imagine, since I'm already doing a decent chunk of DPS sustained, my cooldowns are almost coming up right now, that you're in this position where you can do sustained DPS and less be less reliant on uh, procs, like your glove procs. It's one of the main reasons I like this build, and if you can hit more than one target consistently with the Earthquakes, it's just like, I'm, you can just see it going up. I'm not doing this rotation perfectly at all, either. Which is the other cool thing about it. So I have a second Ascendance up now. Depending on like what boss you're doing or whatever, you can elect to save that and uh, use a potion. I'm going to go ahead and use my potion and, and start it now, instead of waiting for my fire early, just because I got an acrid sprock.
don't like having to delay Stormkeeper a lot like that, but... Gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Keeping those procs rolling. Use the last Stormkeeper charge. Get another Accurate's going, which is nice. Just got back-to-back -back, uh, four-piece procs, but unfortunately no, uh, no shoulder procs from those. That would have been really nice. I'm trying as much as I can to use that Earthquake with Elemental Focus and the Earthen Rage buff, or whatever it's called. Earthen Strength. It's saying Earthen Rage the whole time. I'm terrible. I had Totems down for a while. I'm terrible, guys. I am a horrible player. Horrible player. As you can tell, I've not practiced this build as much as I probably should have before making this video, but the reason I'm getting it out now is so people can start practicing it because it can be quite useful on single target and then on coven as well or like heroic dogs where you can just stack and get a nice parse assuming your tanks don't die it happens so five minutes is pretty much up because uh, the lust is back up so I was doing pretty much like 2.2 million DPS with this build it's gonna drop a little bit now that I'm not casting anymore go ahead and show the breakdown here now, Earthquake, 10.6%. That's on one target. It's quite good. My uh, four-piece Earthshock overloads got about 4.5%. That's average-ish. Got nine procs out of 40 casts. That's, that's actually a little above average, so that was pretty nice. Unfortunately, none of them were big crits. It wasn't a, a big thing going there. But, yeah, you can see there, my Sim DPS for this build is... 2.12 million DPS over 5 minutes, and I hit 2.2. Um, I don't think my procs were that exceptional. Uh, maybe if I had a couple less Earthshock overloads, I would have done a little less, but I still would have beat the Sim. So this is, you know, if you guys want to try this out, like, go ahead and try it out. Like, try to research it a bit. You can ask questions in the Earth Shrine Discord. Um, it's just a very strong build on single target for those, especially that don't have the gloves yet. So... I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I hope this can help you guys out on some bosses or give a new play style that's a little more consistent for the people that don't like the, uh, the just the normal gambling build. I know some people don't like the extreme variance with it, and I feel like this one consistently gets me uh, high results and is much less RNG focused for me as compared to the glove build. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. It, in a way, it kind of plays similar to Ice Fury, if you guys like Ice Fury. Uh, where you kind of, as much as you can, you want to make sure that your frost shocks are buffed by the two piece, and uh, you know, keeping the elemental focus buff up as well, making sure you have crits like weaving in between and stuff like that. So it's a very interesting play style. I uh, hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.